Welcome to Closing Dates, The Forgotten Magic Dates in Ale. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, I think we need to start today's video with a, a bit of accounting. Um, so here is Business Central. And um, if I go to the chart of account, what's the way and and now I'm gonna get angry phone calls from all the, the accountants telling that I'm I'm telling this wrong. But anyway, so in the chart account we have two groups of accounts. We have the balance sheet. In this case, it's first because that's the Canadian version, and then we have the income statement. And um, what you do uh, when you close out a year that you reset all the income statement accounts so you set them back to zero and and whatever positive or ne negative result that accounting year has goes into retained earnings or losses um, but that operation there's a problem with that right because every time we post something in a GL if we go into the general journal so we have to put a date on an entry and what we would like is to be able to still run a report and say from the january 1st to december 31 uh, what is how is, did my my balance sheet my income statement look my p l whatever uh, so we cannot have the reset posting happen on a real date because as soon as it happens on a real date, it would be included in, um, in, in, in the filter, in the date range. So what Navision did, Navigator did, uh, was they came up with this in-between day. So basically, think about that, that you have one day and then the next day, but in between those two days, you have a secret date. Uh, and and it's called a closing date in 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 some languages it's also called the ultimate date uh, but it's after the date it gets tagged but but before the next day so let me show an example so here is my um it's my income statement and i have sale here so let, let's look at sale uh, and we can see that, uh, let's scroll down. You can see here, let me make it as big as I can make it without making this totally unreadable. We can see here that between the 31st of December, 2022, and, and we're, we're sorting, note this, we're sorting by posting date right now. So between New Year's Eve and January 1st, there's actually an extra day. So we can see that it, it's it's prefix with a C for closing. The prefix might be different in, in your country depending on uh, how you're naming it. I do believe that in, 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 in Danish, it's prefix with a U for Ultimo. But um, anyway, so, so we can see that this date is actually sitting in between the two, meaning that if, if I do a date filter from from uh, from day zero to whatever, I will only actually get, in this case, I will only get the sum of all the 2023 uh, entries because my, oh, stop scrolling, why did it stop scrolling? My 2022, uh, and if we scroll right, we'll see that there's 725,000, which is, from an accounting perspective, opposite. Uh, so that's the debit that is offsetting all these entries that happened in 2022. And you can have multiple Ultimo or a closing date posting if you want to close by by dimensions and all sorts of things um, and and just to complete the close income statement function is this one 
uh, close by dimensions and so on. This is not if you go into accounting periods. Wow. Accounting periods. This one is just closing the, the, the dates. It's not doing the reset of the income statement. Um, so those are two separate operations. You do this first, and then when you when you're done with the with all the accounting stuff that you need to do to uh, close up the year, you can run this one. Um, but as we can see that the the seven hundred twenty five are closing out all these, and if I I don't know how much demo data I have here, so if we scroll down. We might only have 2022 entries, so there aren't anything. Otherwise, we will have a closing for each year. But if you sum them all together, you will just have the one that counts uh, towards positive sum are the ones that are in the current year, which is what we will see here at at the balance uh, or the net change. And the net change balance are the same in this case. Um, but I can still go in and and create a uh, a total filter and say let me do a date filter on one one twenty two till twelve thirty one twenty two, and I get the seven twenty five, which uh, we saw was what has been closed out. But if I do see if I do, 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 do uh, if I do till one one twenty three now it's get weird because now I have whatever happens on those two days and the uh, the reset entry because that is now included in my sum it's, it's included in these days anyway so how does this work in AL um, let's go check out Check that out. Um, so let's create a, a date variable here. Um, so if I do a set that to, how about today? Um, we don't need to list me getting emails. Um, so now I can, I have a date, which is today. Uh, and if if I want to make that a closing date, I can do that. I can say D1 is equal, or I, better yet, I can actually go up here and say closing date. So make this one a closing date. So we can do message there we go. Let's try that. So the function closing dates takes a a date and return that date as a closing date. And uh, we can see that May 10th, closing date of May 10th. So the data sits between May 10th and May 11th. Uh, we, we, we get that now. Um, I can't remember if we have one that's called is, do we have anything else with closing date? No. So it's kind of it's it's very very specific for that reason. So here is the why I suddenly got to think about this. So imagine the following, uh, and and this is where so closing date uh, is a very specific thing. That's the only place it's kind of been used, uh, and and it's I don't think it's top of mind in that many places. Maybe you know accountants but but not in the in the AL community um, and and I'll show you what got me the other day um, so let's create a let's call it J value here let's create a JSON value and uh, what I want to do now is simply say well JSON value dot set value D1. Oops, F1. D1. So let's, uh, let's, oh, hang on. I don't think I can debug. 
Let me see. I actually think debug is broken right now. Uh, huh. That is not broken. So D1 is closing five. So now we set the JSON value, which has an overload that will take a date. So we set that. Hopefully we set that. Or maybe now debug is broken. Oh, debug is broken. Wow. Okay. Let's do something else. Let's do add another one here. So let's forget about the breakpoint. Um, if you're watching this video, sorry when it comes out, uh, the debug issue is the debug issue is in VS Code one dot seventy eight, and it is fixed in one dot seventy nine, and uh, so. Hopefully, it's a VS, VS Code bug. It's not a, an AL bug, it's a VS Code bug. Uh, anyway, so let's uh, do format J value. Or better yet, no, actually, let's do something else. Let's create a D2. See what happens. So D2 is a date. And now we will say that D2 equal j value dot as a date how about that so instead of going the far route we'll just have the two dates you see my problem so maybe closing date has even been forgotten by uh, by microsoft because closing dates even though there's an overload that clearly takes the dates and converts that into a, a a json value the it's getting lost so at, at as soon as we do this the the information about this is a closing date gets stripped away and um now it's just a regular date, as we can see here. Um, so I got bitten by that one. So how can we deal? Well, well, this one is not really the only way we can deal with this is to, you know, to go and say format, and now this this act as a uh you know, let's actually we, we can let, let's let's try something uh, i want to add one down here also since we cannot debug so let's add a percentage three and then do a format d1 comma zero comma nine so what is comma zero comma nine comma zero comma nine is zero is that we don't care about the length just format to the the, the length of the data uh, comma nine is to format to XML for, format but the problem with this of course you know, we can see that now this is not a closing date either because uh, format does not care so we can perhaps go and say uh, format normally And now we're, this one says, but hang on, you cannot convert whatever value we have in here, C05, that cannot, that's not a date. So now we're, we're back to having to, instead of doing this, then we have to do evaluate D2 and then uh, J value as text but now i think we're running 
Evaluator. There you go. Let's try this. So, we got a closing date, we got a closing date, and we got a closing date. So, evaluate is our friend. Evaluate works. Um, but, of course, there, there's, uh, there's some issues. Right now, when I'm saying format without specifying the format, then I am, uh, I am locked into... Uh, whatever region uh, regional format I have but what you can do with format um, so if I guess if you Google business central and you Google uh, format property this guy uh, and then we go down and find standard date format then you can s see that let's make this big enough that there is a tag for, uh, for for closing. So we could emulate so XML format, which is number nine, does not in include that, but then we could build our own sort of XML with the, the C and if, if, we, if we want to, but we cannot depend on as as date and we cannot depend on uh on, on stuff like that because this is the forgotten the forgotten dates even though they're magic um so that's a bit on closing dates now you know what closing dates are are about and 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 i know this is very specific accounting use case uh i think that's been over over the decades where i have done uh al code in in, in or cll or whatever name the language have had at the time uh there's been a couple of times where suddenly closing dates made sense because we wanted to to do something, uh, adjustments uh, without it showing up as a regular date and, and then we could do some stupid filtering and stuff like that. Uh, but it, it is a very specific case where, where we need to reset the income statement. Um, but now you know. Um, and if you need to learn more about AL hacking, check out this video. That's a good one. I'll see you in that one. Take care. Bye.